Welcome to my channel, Petit and Curvy. Today I'm going to do a review for you of a gorgeous Aspinall of London bag, which had been on my wish list for a very long time. But thanks to the summer sales, I managed to get it at almost 50% off. So if you're here through my Instagram channel, welcome. <laughs> Uh, in this video, you will see a full review of this bag and few ways to style it. If you're new to my channel, a very warm welcome to you. I am Coco and I vlog about petite and curvy fashion and style. So if you are a petite girl like myself and if you're curvy as well, then a smaller sized handbag would be more suitable for you compared to a larger handbag. I have noticed personally that when I carry a larger handbag, it sort of overwhelms my petite frame. I am four foot 11 and a lot of larger handbags just look quite gigantic on my smaller, <laughs> smaller frame. So shall we have a look at what's inside the box? So this is what comes inside this box. Um, they give a very, very beautiful dust bag and I always recommend storing your handbags in dust bags. This just protects them from the dust and anything else that might harm um, the surface of the bags. So this is my gorgeous new Aspinall of London pink box clutch. One of the reasons I was very wary of buying this one was because I have a very large phone. I have a Samsung Note 10 Plus, which is one of the largest in size, and I wasn't sure if it would fit in this, but it does. So I'll just show you a few of the features of this bag and uh, what I can fit inside it. So this is uh, the opening, the way it, that's the clasp, and then it just opens up like a little suitcase. How cute is that? And you get a nice strap, uh, and I'll come to this in a moment. One of the reasons I love Aspinall is that you are able to get their products personalized. So I got <laughs> my initials embossed on this bag. So this will be forever mine, as it has my initials. And um, they do a very beautiful gold embossing and they charge 15 quid for this. Now, other features of this bag are that the finish and the quality of it are amazing. I really love the stitching. It is so neat and very clean. The gold hardware gives it that wow factor. <laughs> and I love to have very blingy accessories. Let's have a look at what all we can fit inside this cute little handbag. So these are basically all the things that I like to carry in my handbag. Let's see if they actually fit in this one or not. So basically my phone and car keys, very important, <laughs> sanitizer bottle, a lipstick, mascara and cards. So when you open this bag, you would see that on one side it has a zipped pocket and on the other side, there is another pocket, which is not zipped. Um, so, you know, you can decide what you'd like to put in these. So in the zipped section, I would put my cards and then here goes my sanitizer, mascara, lipstick, car keys, and my phone. So I fit everything inside and let me close this. Yeah. So I managed to close it. <laughs> it doesn't open. And it's all good. I think something that is missing here is compartments, but I think because it's such a small size, having a compartment would really um, deter it from closing properly. 
So I'm not sure in how many situations I would be able to carry this. So for example, if you were to go to a business meeting, of course, this would not be suitable. You wouldn't be able to fit a lot of your items <laughs> inside. However, if it's, um, you know, a casual sort of an outing or lunch with friends or even dinner, then with all the basic items that you carry, you would be able to fit all of them inside this lovely bag. I think size is both the positive and the negative aspect of this bag. It is perfect for a petite girl, but I do think that if I were to put anything else inside, then I wouldn't be able to close it. <laughs> Let's look at some of the ways you can style this bag with the strap and without. And also, uh, I'd like to show you some of the outfits I would carry this bag with. So the first way that I'm going to show you is to carry this bag on its own without the strap. I think for dinner, this is one of the best ways to carry it. The second way is hanging it on the shoulder. So the strap is really great because it is adjustable. So you can shorten it or lengthen it according to your height. And the third way is carrying it crossbody. Uh, this offers quite a lot of versatility because you can have both your hands free through this. One of my most favorite ways to style any bag is to coordinate it with the color of the shoes, which is what I did in these two images that I posted on Instagram. So my final verdict on this gorgeous bag is it certainly has the wow factor. It exudes quality and luxury and this will make any outfit look very, very special. <laughs> you won't be able to fit too many things in it though. So that's the only disadvantage of the bag. However, as I, as I told you earlier, I do have a Samsung Note 10 Plus, which is one of the larger phones on the market, and it does fit inside it. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. This just tells me whether I should keep creating more content for you or not. Thank you so much.